Across the Table with Ben Sorensen. Conversations with extraordinary people. It's Ben Sorensen here and across the table from me is, uh, you know, a very talented musician. And I think we need to uh, go down the musician road because you are indeed talented. Mr. Troy Barrett, how are you? Very well, Ben. How are you? Mighty, mighty fine. Now, it's been a long time coming. It has. Uh, which was uh, probably the lamest way that I could possibly get the <laughs> title of your new EP in there. Um, now, you're you're an interesting fellow. Your background is hard, is like rock. It's hardcore rock. It is, tell, yeah. tell me your story. <clears throat> yeah, look, well, I mean, ever since I started playing guitar and um, started singing when I was, you know, early teens, I've always been into sort of the... Uh, 80s metal, you know, the really high notes and the shredding guitar solos. There is absolutely it, nothing wrong with 80s. No, I still don't mind, you know, donning on the spandex every now and then and putting a, a mullet wig on and going out to some 80s clubs. Or the, but, uh, the fancy mullet wig, the malay. The malay, the <laughs> moulay. Yeah, even better. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've, I, look, I've just played through bands, hard rock bands, through my 20s around Melbourne and toured a lot, you know, through Australia and that. And, um, yeah, my last band, I just got to a point where it just wasn't exciting anymore and um, I just wanted to do something different. Being a guitar player, and I mean, I like all different styles of music and playing rock for so many years, I just wanted to do something that was a bit different and exciting and fun to play again. And um, I was, you know, I had been sort of writing for an EP as I've always wanted to release one. And I just decided after seeing a country band one night, I thought, wow, this is really fun. Everyone's up dancing instead of, you know, at the gig with their arms crossed at night. you are cool. Um, and it just, yeah, you know, it looked like the audience it was enjoying it. And I thought, wow, this could be really fun to do, you know. And so that's pretty much why I went down that, that track. Well, you know, listening to the EP, there's, uh, it's sort of a, more of an acoustic style mm. EP. And I was chatting to... Um, uh, Diesel, as in Mark, um, a little while back, and he 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 decided to strip back all of his songs and his shows and just be man and guitar. And yeah. you know, he was saying that that's quite a confronting thing for a, a a musician to do to have a band behind you to or to go from having a band behind you and all the production, yeah. and all the all the stuff that goes with that to breaking it down and really relying on the quality of the songwriting. And your yeah. connection with the audience. So how do yeah. you feel? Yeah, look, I mean, that's one of the things that I sort of first encountered. Well, I mean, I'm primarily a guitar player and then sort of vocalist second. Um, and when I was writing songs for my previous bands, you know, I'd write songs in my bedroom or wherever. And, you know, I'd write about, you know, some riff that's like a thousand notes in it, you know, to compensate for all the other instruments. And then when I started writing this EP, I thought, well... You know, it's an acoustic guitar now, and I just wanted it to be an acoustic guitar. I, I didn't want any electrical guitars or anything like that on the EP. Um, and I just thought, well, I've got to just concentrate on just basic chord progressions and concentrate on the melodies. Um, and yeah, and you're right. And I've, because I do have a backing band, but I do a lot of show solo as well. And so, therefore, you have to write a tune that can hold up. If I can play it live or by myself, you know, through its entirety without having to rely on any other instruments apart from just the guitar and the, and the vocals, um, well then, yeah, that's that's what I sort of ultimately want. And then when you get the other, you know, encompassing instruments, you know, it makes it, steps it up a bit, but ultimately I want to be able to have a set list that I can play just me and the guitar if I ever need to tour around and just play by myself. Well, you know yeah. what? I wish Justin Bieber had that same rule. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, I know. That had sort of cut his catalogue down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, uh, if he did that, actually, half the music industry, I reckon, would be cut down, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and it'd give Independence a better shot as well. It would be, yeah. It, it would. would, it would. Now, the um, I'm I'm a big fan of, um, of the unique style uh, that you've actually done um, for Long Time Coming, your EP. It's a bit of acoustic. You still maintain some of your your rock history there, but also yeah. have sort of a country flavour going through it. Um, it's 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 a t 
top little EP and definitely one worth getting. Now, tell me about the video clip. Yeah, well, I, the single from the EP is Justified. Um, and I, obviously, being an independent artist, I didn't have too much money at my disposal to uh, do, you know, some fancy clips. And I've got a mate who's really good on computers and he's got all the cameras and stuff like that. He's pretty handy. And we've been mates for years. I used to play in a band with him. And um, I live in Yarraville in Melbourne. And um, there's a nice old theatre. It's a, it's a movie theatre there. It's called the Sun Theatre. Yep. And I was just watching a movie one night with my girlfriend there. And I just there's multiple different sort of rooms that they've done up to look like sort of, you know, old 1940s, 1930s. And I was just walking past the main room and it had the doors open. And I just saw it, and I was looking around at the time for a location for a film clip. I didn't know what to do, you know, I didn't have too much money or didn't want to go to too many locations. And I saw it and I thought, wow, that looks really cool. That could look really cool if I just shot it in there to, a, you know, like an empty sort of theatre, so to speak. And um, yeah, so I asked them and they were pretty keen. The theatre said, yeah, no worries, that's fine, you know. And then, so I got my mate, we had a look at it and hired equipment and we literally because we got a good deal as in hiring the room we had to work from only 6 30 to 9 30 um and we got in the morning um because we got really really cheap rates after that like it was astronomical yeah so we've actually just did two days or three hour sessions to get the video clip in um so i'd be like was only two of us because it was early in the morning i couldn't get anyone else to come in and help so i'd be He'd be filming and then I'd be sort of, you know, running over, pressing the CD player, running back, starting, and then he's like, oh, I need that light move, so I'll be going over there, and it was just hectic. But by the second day, we sort of got everything down, and that's how it's turned out, yeah. So a whole film clip with just two people. Yeah, it was literally two people, yeah. That's pretty wild. Yeah, so it was, it was fun. I guess when we when we finished the, uh, the final edit, look back on it and... Um, you know, I mean, I look at it, I mean, I'm, I'm always one that has always tried to, whether it's music or film clips or whatever, I've always really tried to, if, I don't, if I'm going to do it, it's going to look professional, otherwise I'm not going to do anything, you know. And I was quite happy with how, you know, how it turned out. I mean, you look at it on the on the internet or wherever, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. For an independent artist, I'm pretty happy with how, how it comes across, you know. Now, tell me about the song Justified. Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty funny. When I wrote that, I um, I sort of had broken up with my girlfriend at the time for about six months or so, and I guess that was that was that a mother's eyes sort of just that were the first two songs written, and um, and they just sort of fell out of me really. I didn't really have to put much time into that. What's kind of ironic is that once I finished the song, I'd done the EP. Um, not long after, I'd actually just before I actually got it pressed. It was probably a year and a half, you know, between me writing it and then actually getting it, you know, sort of pressed. Um, I'm back with that girlfriend again. <laughs> so, and it's all good now, but it was uh, it was pretty funny, you know, now that, um, yeah, I showed her the song and she was like, oh, okay, that's a little weird. And I'm like, yep, yeah, yeah. it's all good. <laughs> oh, well, keen to take a look at it. Thank you so much, uh, Troy Barrett. You've got to pick up is a fantastic EP. You can get it on iTunes. Troy Barrett, long time coming, and here is said video clip.
the table with Ben Sorensen. For this interview and many more, visit our YouTube channel or bensorensen.com.